Welcome to Sounds of Brass. Sounds of Brass is proudly sponsored by Stratos Brass. Say goodbye to mouthpiece pressure and hello to an optimized embouchure with the revolutionary one-size-fits-all Stratos Performer. Compatible with all brass instruments, it's your key to clearer, stronger playing, giving you more stamina than you ever thought possible. Get yours now for just £79.99 at stratosbrass.com. Exceed your expectations every time with the Stratos Performer. Hello friends of the Brass Band, welcome to the Sounds of Brass show with uh, Eric Brice from Northern France. Today I wanted to talk to you about the roots of the Brass Band movement, uh, but I prefer to let you discover it uh, through music. It has been very fashionable for several years in symphony orchestras to play the music of the period of its creation with old instruments or copies. Many Baroque orchestras promote ancient styles and sounds. The first was Nicolaus Arnoncourt, who from the 1960s made music known as it was played during the Baroque time. On the brass side, after the invention of the valve in 1812, which will be a real revolution, the brass became chromatic in a few years. At the beginning of brass bands, which should only be called brands, we find the ficlades, uh, trombones, uh, kid flugelon, Russian bassoon, an instrument that are uh, now unusual. Of course, the British Empire in uh, its colonies uh, brings a brass band and also in the United States. We have just heard a piece uh, from the mid-19th century 
Arizona Quick Step, played by the Yankee Brass Band, performed on the 19th century uh, instruments in the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art from New York. So, do you want more? I hope so. So now, two pieces from the beginnings of the Brass Band, Mockingbird, Quick Step and Fireman's Polka. Thank you. 
Okay, now imagine yourself in 1936, uh, rich enough to purchase and play on your rudimentary record player, a uh, 78 uh, Revolution vinyl record. It's very moving to hear uh, these uh, recordings, which are treasures. The so brass band playing is one of the best in the world and so far the best. Fortunately, in his archives, uh, he kept treasures like the one we are about to listen. This is uh, Kenilworth uh, by uh, Sir Arthur Bliss uh, by Florence Motor Works Band under the baton of Fred Mortimer, record uh, 88 years ago. <laughs>
The next piece was recorded by Fodens in 1914. At this time, the principal cornet was Edwin Firth. Edwin was born in Skipton, Yorkshire, in 1888 into a family of musicians. His grandfather, Greenwood Firth, was principal trombone for 25 years in the famous Black Dyke Band, while his father, Squire Firth, was a cornetist in the same brass band. It was, uh, therefore, uh, not surprising that Edwin learned to play the cornet and at the age of 11 he joined the Skipton Brass Band. At 13 he was already the principal soloist of his orchestra and he received many invitations to play as a guest soloist, which gave him the opportunity to pay for private lessons with uh, the greatest English uh, teachers in the world like William Rimmer and Alexander Owen. He progressed quickly, winning competition from uh, 1904. He was hired by the Rochdale uh, Circus, uh, where he was presented to uh, some master Edwin Firth, a talented young cornet player, gold medalist, the musical marvel. In 1908, uh, he won the two competitions, uh, which would influence the uh, rest of his career. The article in the press said uh, the game was splendid and it was a revelation for the audience. That same year, at the age of 20, he became principal cornet of Fordot's uh, Motor Works Brass Band, then the best brass band in the country, and won numerous championships, even uh, playing before King George V and Queen Mary. In 1917, as the third year of the Great War, Edwin volunteered to fight for his king and his country. He enlisted and became a private Edwin Firth in the 20th London Regiment, the Artist Rifles. He sometimes returned on leave with the permission of his commanding officer in order to honour commitments with his brass band, notably at the end of S17 in Chester. It was his last concert and last major solo of his great but too short career. On June 1st, uh, 18, just a few months before the armistice, a shell exploded, killing Edwin and most of his uh, comrades. He was 29 years old. Edwin was buried in the Varennes Military Cemetery near Amiens in the Somme department in the Hauts-de-France region with 1,218 other allied soldiers. The name of Edwin, as well as all the names inscribed on the monument of uh, the small village of uh, Elworth near the town of Sandbach. Now let's listen to Cleopatra, uh, played by Edwin First and Foden's Motorbones, under the direction of uh, Tom Heinz, recorded in 1914. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you enjoy our 24-7 online brass band radio station, please show your support, if you can, by making a donation. Simply visit our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk, and click on the donate button. Thank you. At the start of my show today, we listened to the American musicians playing an instrument from the beginnings of the brass band. Welsh musicians also uh, searched uh, for and found music, mainly manuscripts. The Wallace Group captured some of the repertoire written for the Saifatha band, founded in 1838 in Merthyr Tidefield, Wales. Not sure for the pronunciation, quite difficult for a Frenchie. It is music for virtuoso or brass instrument of the Victorian time. We are now listening to a piece known by the French composer Jean-Baptiste Arban, but here it is uh, the great Paganini who wrote variations on the Venice Carnival played by the Wallace Collections on old brass instruments. <laughs>
With uh, the Wallace Collection, now a very French style, very popular in open air concerts and on the bandstands in the 19th century, the quadrille. This uh, music was uh, later exported to the United States and mixed with the music of uh, Fritz Leif's uh, gave birth to ragtime. 
They are still on the Victorian instruments, uh, the five uh, quadrilles of uh, Saifafa Castle from the group The Wallace Collection. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sounds of Brass is proudly sponsored by Stratos Brass. Say goodbye to mouthpiece pressure and hello to an optimised embouchure with a revolutionary one-size-fits-all Stratos performer. Compatible with all brass instruments, it's your key to clearer, stronger playing, giving you more stamina than you ever thought possible. Get yours now for just £79.99 at stratosbrass.com. Exceed your expectations every time with the Stratos Performer. the brass band competitions uh, which began in the Bellevue of Manchester the brass bands uh, played arrangements of uh, overtures or selections of operas, tunes or classical pieces it was not until uh, 1913 that a composer wrote the first competition piece a symphonic poem for brass to the glory of peasants, miners and workers since uh, then uh, this piece has uh, become uh, one of the most famous and uh, is often played in championships and concerts. Now let's listen to Labo and Love by uh, Percy Fletcher, played by Black Dyke, conducted by uh, Major Peter Pikes. <laughs>
Hi, this is Annie Dehaney Stephen from Bethnal Green in London. My show, well, it tends to be a mixture of memories and stuff I find lying about on the web and on my virtual CD shelf, but if I hear a piece I like played by other than a brass band, I will search for a brass version. I play what I like, what interests me, and what I think might interest a a listener like me, someone with broad musical tastes, including but not restricted to brass band music. I play in bands, but I sing jazz, and there are few genres of music that I don't enjoy. So I place brass band classics and test pieces next to cheesy pop, jazz and funk, and I always include a couple of cool-down numbers. I hope that listeners will find something they like in each show. My show airs on Fridays at 7.30pm UK time, with another chance to hear it on Tuesdays at 730 it would be lovely to have you there. Thanks a lot, Sunny. Please don't forget to listen to the show and also the shows from the other presenters of the station. And if you are not available on time, don't worry and go to the Sounds of Brass Radio Station website and click on Listen Again. Now, another famous composer who was born in 1872, very famous in England and all over the world, uh, who wrote for symphony orchestra and brass band. For him, uh, there were no big and small music, only the music especially from uh, his country which inspired him. The famous uh, 15th century song commemorating the English victory at the Battle of Faisancourt in uh, 1415 against the French has been adapted uh, and arranged by many composers over the years, and notably uh, William Walton in uh, his music for the film Henry V and by uh, Ralph Vaughan Williams in his overture for brass band Henry V. It's very moving for the French people from my area to listen to the French song from the Middle Lodge inside the overture, Picard Réveillez-vous, which means uh, wake up people from Picardy. Please listen to the overture for Brass Band, uh, Henry III, uh, played uh, by Grimthorpe Cory Band. <laughs>
of Brass, has launched our own branded merchandise. We have some great promotional items available such as, baseball caps, polo shirts, backpacks, mugs, and our own jacket. If you enjoy our Brass Band online radio station, please purchase something to help promote Sounds of Brass. Profits from all sales, go towards helping us with our ongoing running costs. We ship to most countries across the world. Please check them out on our website, soundsofbrass.co.uk. Thank you. Enjoy our great brass band online radio station. To finish for today, a more modern piece, uh, Hilton Legacy by Peter Graham, played by uh, East of England co band based in Ipswich, conducted by uh, Nigel Cooper. This piece pays a uh, homage uh, to director Jack Hilton, with uh, the three movements uh, referencing the uh, various uh, stylistic uh, features that uh, helped uh, establish uh, Hilton's uh, reputation. The three movements are first uh, Hilton in awe, like uh, in all of the Mountain King from Grieg. The second one is a solo for trombone and a reference song. And the final, uh, Jack uh, meets uh, Joshua, combines uh, the African-American spiritual Joshua fits the Battle of Jericho with a swing section before the Latin music of the first movement brings uh, the walk to a rousing conclusion. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show about the roots of the brass band. A little message about it uh, would be welcome to give me advice uh, to be more efficient if you wish at uh, present us at soundsofbrass.co.uk. Put my name Eric Brice in the subject and also a quick visit to the store to help the radio station live. Au revoir et à bientôt. <laughs> Thank you.
Attention all UK brass bands and brass players, Sounds of Brass is supported by New Moon Insurance Services Limited, a specialized insurance broker for all types of musical instruments, specifically brass instruments and brass bands. We are part of the banding community and are an insurance partner of Brass Band England and support various competitions and regional events up and down the UK since 2009. New Moon Insurance have supported brass bands by returning some of your premium to your band each year, which totals over £100,000. Whether you are a championship band or a local non-competing band, New Moon Insurance have cover that's right for you at competitive prices. If you are based in the UK, Isle of Man or the Channel Islands for either your band insurance or specialist cover for your own instruments, why not give New Moon Insurance a call on 01892 280 or visit newmooninsurance.com.